Hi, I'm Anseng. So today we'll share with you the system highlight for e-invoice in AutoCal. Due to the Malaysia e-invoicing policy, so AutoCal has set up a AutoCal e-invoice platform which is called as AIP allows to gather all the details and store in the server and sync it to RHDN e-invoice server. In general, we will implement as a module like a feature and it's already available for Malaysia. This is an e-invoice sync there's six system highlights to share in this video. So for the first, text entity and team function, if you want to create an invoice or purchase invoice to your customer or supplier, there's a two method, which is method one, you can create and key in by your own. For example, when you create an adapter, then you need to fill in the details and key in the team. Then you need to fill in all the details like this. So method two, which is you can get the team function and to request a customer or supplier to fill in. Okay, for example, this is my customer. The first time I want to build them, either I register their details in auto account by myself or I send a link, ask them to fill in. So his detail will register in auto account server. Let's say this is a supplier, next time he want to build them, then they no need to create again, but they can search in auto account server. So you can click on get in on AIP server, then you can click request company text information, fill in the company details, click get link, copy and send to your supplier or customer. So it also support for searching by company name, team number or business registration number. You receive an email, then you can search in the auto account server. Second, for the standard invoice, it's divided by few different status. In auto account, you can set different user permission and approved invoice will submit it to HDN via AIP server if transaction has team info. Here's the flowchart. So that's the draft. After that, once you create the invoice, it will become a draft. Then you need to submit for approval. Once the details is complete, you approve and direct submit to HDN. Under a period of time you didn't approve, then it will become expired. Within 72 hours, documents are allowed to void from HDN. So in your invoice, you filter by different status. So all of the invoice can generate based on different of the template. Then each invoice, you can edit your header, footer, or your terms and condition. And click on the WhatsApp, and send this to your customer via WhatsApp also. For the third, consolidate e-invoice means that if let's say you issue so many receipts and there's no company to claim it, then all these receipts you will combine and submit to HDN before next month 7. So you can select the period of time, combine and submit. You can go to the invoice, click new, and select the period of time by different document type. Then from there, you can submit. So for the self bill means that if your own company do the payment for these suppliers such as the agent, dealer, foreign seller, rider or driver or individual that cannot provide you invoice and you need to record, then it's under self bill. So all the self bill, you can copy or generate from your purchase invoice or cash book such as payment voucher. And self bill transaction will not have any general ledger posting or stock posting. Here's the example of the self bill. So you need to key in your classification, your description, and your supplier and the details. After that, just click approve, then you submit. So you can copy from cash book, purchase invoice, or AR credit note. So for the post invoice, there's two ways which is handled on the spot, handled by post, front end, cashier. And you need to key in the details, such as the tin or individual details. So for the method two, which is the customer can scan the QR code at the bottom of the receipt, then claim by themselves. And then the buyer will receive the email. Here's an example. So the highlight is, can handle any submission of invoice such as the standard, consolidate or self bill It's easy for you to manage, share and request and update tax entity and team details of the business. And it support retry mechanism on submission. So if you're using AutoCount, it's very easy for you to trace and check on the report. And it's support to export it to Excel. So currently we have a great deal, which is if you upgrade from 1.9 to 2.2 and support e-invoice, you will have 35% of discount. If you buy the new AutoCount package, then you will get one free e-invoice module. If you have more than one company, then you also can buy add-on also. That's all for today. Thank you.